Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope all's well in your world wherever you are. Everything's great down here in Costa Rica and Costa Rica is the topic today. Um, I, uh, it rained a lot yesterday afternoon. I kind of got lazy. It's a Saturday, it's a weekend, so I just like uh, totally lazed out. And I ate dinner early and I actually moved my computer over to uh, where my bed is in this cabin and just um, did a little research, watched, a, watched some videos and then went to Netflix as usual. But when I was kind of in that creative mode when I'm doing some note taking and actually thinking about stuff, I was answering some uh, a couple of emails. And I'm getting more and more and more um, emails from people about Costa Rica these days or comments about Costa Rica these days. Um, and and um, a little bit of every a little bit of everything. Some are from people that are interested in moving down here, or how to move down here, and some are from people you know just interested in coming down here and uh, doing a vacation, and they want some information about the area. So it got me to thinking about like you know really kind of putting more of my information together and starting to put more of my connections together and starting to make some more connections because not everybody and 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 one thing i will say too is i'm speaking to all vegans here this has really nothing to do with uh being raw vegan or how you eat or whatever i just know that a lot of vegans no matter how they eat that when they come to costa rica um, they may not be coming here to do a vegan vacation. Everything is vegan or about food, about fruit or whatever. But I'm going to say most vegans probably are going to have some interest in that at some point, or they're going to have some level of interest in that. And that's why I started thinking about, okay, I need to just start putting all my information together, you know, in one place and having it at my fingertips. So when people reach out to me, I have the pertinent information because not everybody's necessarily coming to visit me or coming to stay wherever I am. Um, they're, and they're, you know, they're most definitely not coming just to see me. Now, if it's so co um, coordinated where I was in the area where they wanted to visit. And then there are some people that have expressed interest in coming down and doing some stuff with me, hanging out with me, doing some retreats in the future, what have you. But I, you know, I just figured, hey, why not just start putting all the information in one place and having it at my fingertips so when people say, okay, I'm coming to Costa Rica and I'm going here, and I'm like, well, I don't, I've never been there, but I know this. Because, you know, and that's the great thing about this, all this social media and stuff. You can use it for however you want. Um, through my Instagram account, through Twitter, um, Twitter, people don't use Twitter a lot um, in this raw vegan world for um, spreading the message or networking or whatever. I've actually met some really cool people through Twitter, so each little uh, platform has its place. Um, but through these various uh, platforms of social media, I've found, like I've had people that like stuff or comment on my stuff that are here in Costa Rica, and I've found out about them. Um, just you know, just random things thrown out there. There's a place up in Fortuna, La Fortuna, which is where the other volcano is, Volcano Arenal, which is probably the most popular volcano and a lot of people go there. Well, there's an organic um, little um, store and restaurant there in Fortuna that while it's not a vegan restaurant, um, they have plenty of vegan items on the menu and there's plenty of ways to eat vegan there. Um, Nosara which is up um, in the Nicoya Peninsula, is another little town. It's a little surf town. And that, like I said, I'm just showing you examples. Um, I network with a yogi up there. I've never actually met her. We've just, um, I'm just connected with her through Facebook and um, Instagram. And she's got like an organic orange juice business going on out there, up there, orange juice all the time. So there's little, little ticks and tricks and things and dick to dick to do like that that you might not know if you just went into the area and if you didn't have vegans in the area because vegan people that aren't vegan aren't always aware of all of these things. I've asked people, um, you know, even back when I was in Hako about various places like markets and things and if they weren't vegan, they didn't know where I was talking about. So. I'm thinking about it. I got a little list going here of different things. Um, obviously, restaurants, any restaurants here in Costa Rica that you can get vegan food. Um, there'll be some restaurants I'd like to try to reach, you know, find restaurants that are vegan, but there's a lot of restaurants here in Costa Rica that'll have vegan options. Hey, even recently, some friends of mine, the person, what, the guy that's a good friend of mine that's one of the owners of this house where I'm staying, owns a hotel and a restaurant in Hako, and um, they just added a vegan menu to their 
to their to their restaurant so um, there's lots of little places lots of little things out there I've got a couple of restaurants here in in San Jose that are vegan the one that's raw um, that I haven't checked out yet it doesn't it's not fully vegan they have some other raw stuff but you can get vegan but there's different things like that and of course I've talked about the markets you know having information on all the markets I mean um, there's the little markets, each little town, almost every little town, that's a common thing to have a Friday or a Saturday farmer's market. But there's a few that are like must-sees. I, you know, I've been, I was talking to some, a couple of friends of mine that might come down sometime in the future, and I was talking about, okay, well, if you came down, we could do it like this. And you could basically do a little tour. If the markets were your thing, you could do a little tour. I've talked about that before where you, you know, okay, where are the best markets, the best organic markets, um, you know, and I know... Right off the top of my head, I'm thinking of about four or five here in Costa Rica that are just, you know, must see if you're in that area. Um, lodging, um, you know, lodging is not so much, I mean, you know, I don't know if you, you're going to find, if you actually need vegan friendly lodging. Um, the next, also too, that like, you know, kind of the response and as I see my responses pick up and more people asking about it, it'll probably have some bearing on what my next plan is and on what kind of accommodations I get. Um, I like this Airbnb format and I like being able to pull in some income from several different outlets without having to just, just depend on like people that want to come do a vegan or a raw vegan retreat or do some sort of a, um, of a vacation that's like-minded to what I do. I mean, you know, to supplement, you know, you've got that Airbnb and you've got VRBO. Um, so I will possibly look to having another situation where I have, you know, extra rooms in the house where I can do something like that, depending on, you know, um, how much I kind of get, keep getting responses and people that are interested in coming. Um, things that, like letting you know what the seasons are down here, where, you know, what, what kind, and that's something that I don't, right now, I'm kind of stuck right here. You know, I, care, I watch this property, so I can't get out and do a lot of exploring. So any new information I'm taking in is going to have to be through a little research on the Internet and reaching out to some people that I know and using my judgment from areas I know and kind of just knowing this country and knowing how things go in general. Um, and like I say, people ask me seasons all the time and I don't want to appear ignorant, but I, I, there's just so many different microclimates here that you're finding a lot of the stuff year round. I mean, the mangoes, you know, I was getting good mangoes at the beach um, and they had kind of slowed down at the beach and then I move up here and I'm just getting spectacular mangoes. Um, there's certain areas like down in the Tinamaste area where um, even within three miles, something can be in season here. And because of the drastic climate change or altitude change, just three miles away, it's, they're not, you know, it's not producing or that type of a tree isn't producing. Um, and also like what fruits, I'm just starting to, you know, kind of pull things in now, what fruits are in specific areas. Um, and I would like to even set up a little trail, you know, I mean, I've got, I've, I've got some ideas. It just depends on, like I say, how much interest I start to see develop on this. Um, I could even see like setting up, not just knowing the connections, but like actually having a place that I'm connected to in a bunch of different areas. That way, if I wanted to do things, then we could start getting into toys, you know, then I could start getting into, okay, well, I know this place here has a Vitamix or I don't know, just like I say, just starting to play. But I want to kind of be, like I say, going back, that just, all this kind of got sparked a little bit. A lot of stuff got sparked by having some uh, energy here with me when Lissa came. And I would just like to, um, you know, I would like to be able to share what I shared with her in a, in a certain way, even though we, we knew each other already. We, uh, we had a specific ideas. We were going to do videos. We talked a lot about social media and stuff. Um, but also, like, like, I think there was a lot of value to her of just getting off the plane, coming to a place and having fruit. So that would be the first thing you always have, you know, you step into the country, you don't have to flounder around, you have, you have good stuff, you know, as, as soon as you get into the country. But anyhow, I'm going to develop this a little bit more. I will put a link below and somebody tell me if I don't do it and I'll come back in real quick and do it. Um, you know, my senile brain, to my other Costa Rica video. It's just got, it's about a 20 minute video on just particular generalities in Costa Rica. It might be geared a little bit to more, to, 
more towards living in Costa Rica. But anyhow, give that one a look. And I'm going to start, you know, kind of just putting all my stuff together in one spot and reaching out. And I would like to become more and more of the vegan connection down here, like that people could, uh, like I say, and, and it's not, um, this is like, yes, I'm going to be doing some uh, commercial things. I'm going to be doing some retreats. I'm going to be doing some vacations. Um, I'm going to be doing some programs where, you know, people come to pay to do what they do. But don't don't hesitate to um, contact me and ask me questions about Costa Rica, even if you're not coming to my area. If I know the information, if I have the information, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to share this beautiful country. And even if I don't know something, um, you know, like I say, I've been here 17 years, I probably can at least point you in a direction. So anyhow, hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Uh, please share this one if you would, because I'd like to reach this out to as many vegans as possible. Um, because it's just great. And like I say, it doesn't matter to me what kind of a vegan, how you do your vegan thing. It's just really cool to be able to hang out with um, vegans down here. And I'd love to be able to do that more. But even if I can just help you with some information, happy to do it. Love you guys. Peace.